Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh by Shem Abishai, by Shem Rakar Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered among the heathen nations that be like unto the speckled bird. That means they look like the heathens, but they're still Israelites. And to the Aquaf that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson. And uh, I'm just going to go right into to the effect of the Corona's virus, the King's virus, on the world economies and how it could possibly bring on, you know, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the crash of the dollar and the forced implementation of the microchip. It's even possible that they could start rounding up uh, different people and quarantining them here in America as a result of this. But as we all know, you know, the distraction story with Kobe Bryant is already starting to wear thin and, and the corona thing is right back in the headlines. So we're going to go through a walk through Revelation. All right. And this is Revelation 18 and uh, 11. And it reads, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. So the Dow Jones dropped 450 points. Um, uh, what the, what was that? Johnson and Johnson did very well. I mean, Salakia did did horribly, you know, on, on the market. So did Apple, because you have to understand these factories that employ millions of people. That, you, know, you know, these com these companies employ millions of people worldwide, man, and many right there in Beijing. Beijing is one of the most heavily populated uh, cities in the world. And it's, and it's a city full of manufacturers and merchandisers and workers that work them. And now it's a ghost city. Kind of like this little mini forest before the, the highway right there. All right. It's nothing in it. But except on the ground, it's trash that's been thrown out of cars from, from the you know, things of that nature. All right. But it's a ghost town and it's having an effect on the world economy, man, because many, many nations uh, do, you know, a uh, business with China, man. China is a major manufacturing comp uh, country. So you got these huge companies and corporations that that are uh, that are shut down for weeks. They don't know how long they're going to be shut down. And it's affecting the world markets It's affecting the banks, man. All right. You know, so the Lord is, is is destroying this place, man, bit by bit. OK. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go to uh, Revelation 7. And. Uh, Verse one, and it reads, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor on any tree. All right. So that so these angels are holding back the destruction. Now, the point is in verse three. All right. And uh, and four. All right. And then it reads. Verse two, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. The name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is in the foreheads of the elect. The elect have been sealed, man. That's why the earth is going through its birth pains. And now the trees are being hurt. Look at all those fires that have been all over the world. Look at the, the recent fires down in, uh, uh, in, in in Australia. And right before that, you had the horrible fires down in Brazil in the, in the Amazon forest, man. Okay. The water. The uh, 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 You still have great beasts of the sea that are uh, beaching themselves. You got sharks, from what I've been told. That are leaving salt water and swimming up into the to the uh, the clean clear water uh, rivers that empty off into them, and then dying in those rivers because their bodies are set up to to breathe in salt water. But the water is so the pH level, the water is so filthy and polluted that they're in pain. 
that they can't breathe. So they're trying to find air. Imagine you trying to get if you you trying to gasp for air and you need it and you can't get it. Or every time you breathe, your body's in pain. And see, that's what happened under under the under the, the control of this wicked Edomite man who must be obliviated off the face of the earth, man. All right. And then in the next verse, it tells you about the number that has that was sealed, man. So the elect, so the, the, the prophecies are playing out, man. That's what's going on. Let's go to uh Revelation 11 and 18. And it reads, The nations were angry, and thy wrath has come, and the nations are very angry with Babylon. Very angry. And like I said, these actions that I spoke of could bring on, could help speed up and bring on the inevitable mark of the beast because the infrastructure is already set up and they've already been made. You already have millions of people on the earth who already have received it on their own. All we're waiting on now is, is for some incident to happen that's going to force it. And this and this Corona thing could very well do so. This could be the catalyst that brings it forth. As a matter of fact, before I finish 18, I'm going to go to Revelation, uh, the 13th chapter. All right. And read about the mark of the beast. This is uh, Revelation 13. And I'm going to start at 15. And it reads, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast to be killed, should be killed. And that's what's going to happen. They're going to set up these FEMA camps, and a lot of people, they already know that they're going to meet mad resistance against this chip. All right. They already they, they already know that. And and the result of that is going to be internment. And if you can't be reeducated, you're going to be put to death. Because the scriptures talk about in Revelation, he saw the souls of them who have been beheaded. Because there's many people that, that actually men of the Lord, women of the Lord, people of the elect. All right. Who, who are, I, I should say people of the elect. Who are going to uh, uh, become martyrs and die, and, and some even some of the prophets, for it is written. Verse sixteen, and he calls up all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark, or the name of the beast. Or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score and 6. And it just happened to be ironic. Or not ironic at all. That the man who created this mark. Had had a, a, had exactly six letters in each, in, in each of his three names. The 666. That's how I got that number. And even he, I can't remember his name at the time, admitted that he knew that this was the mark of the beast that the Bible was speaking of. He said it himself. All right. And it's that RFID microchip. And you won't be able to buy a sale. And they want to give it to everyone, whether you're in jail, whether you're free, whether you're rich, whether you're poor. They're gonna and they'll have com complete dominion over you. It's just like your cell phone. Your your uh, uh your GPS is on is is on 24/7. Even when you turn it off, it's still on. And, and all you have to do is get any app on your phone, and, and that's proof of it. They'll locate you. Uh, uh, you When you go on the phone and say, blah, 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 near me, how do you think that's done? You're looking for something that's near you. You just put it in, and it tells you what's near you. So imagine when they put that in your body, man. You won't be able to escape. You won't be able to do anything. And if you don't comply with them, they could just simply turn your chip off and now you won't, you'll starve to death. You won't be able to go to work. You won't be able to pay your bills. You won't be able to eat. But you still got dummies that are going to line up to get that chip, though. 
back in Revelation uh, 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged. All right, that thou shouldest give a reward unto thy servants, the prophets. So, the, so now the prophets who are, who are uh, serving by putting up these videos, putting their lives on the line, exposing Esau, Edom, what, what, to the point to where you got the president uh, uh, directly addressing us in a speech, calling us the prophets of doom to ignore us. No, you should ignore his red self. It says, <clears throat> and give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, right? Who, who, who has the mark of the Lord in their foreheads, not the mark of the beast. And, and then it says, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should destroy as them which destroy the earth. All right. And that's who is destroying the earth. Esau Edom. All right. And who's going to do it? The Lord tells you he's coming back the same way in Revelation 1. Revelation uh, uh, 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every man and every and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And the kindreds of the earth, the other nations, shall well because of him because they're all going to know that is the power that is Yahawashai who the Hebrew Israelites the Negroes Latinos Native Americans and our scattered brethren that look like the heathen and live among the heathen have been calling upon they're going to know and they're going to well because he's coming to destroy and set up the kingdom of heaven and give the power unto his saints and to his anointed Call Haloi Hawabashin Awashai Bashim Rakakwadash Wa Ababa Ba Shalawam.